Arches the car. Are following you. No, I want chicken tinnies. So they've owned this thing for 70 years? Something just fell back there. We've talked about you using bad language around the kids. Okay. <laughs> That's my boy. I've never washed dishes in my life. That's totally safe. Leaking something bad. I was gonna tell you that whole line on the road is from you leaking. We got no gas in it. <laughs> We're getting attacked by dogs. Correct. Coincidence? I'm gonna need you to fix I it think correct. Not. Oh, you wearing your Crocs? Now that was four wheel drive. That thing got a Hemi in it. There's one every seven miles in Tennessee. That's the word on the street. Yeah, we're at 240. We gotta do this. You know, I met your mother at a Dollar General. There's like snow biz in my butt crack. I can touch these pedals with ease. Here you go. Go play with matches. Man, they just don't make dipsticks like they used to. I just figured it was gone. Oh, he's got the screwdriver. No. <laughs> you're a little close with the camera. If you don't think I'll kiss that pig, you're wrong. Kiss her. <laughs> well, big day, guys. Going to pick one up. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That should fit it if we need one. Rocky, we'll be right back. We're gonna have something, something else for you to inspect, okay? You be good. Squeeze those lemons. Nope. Oh, what? Just the, just the scouts. That's it. Ralphie, this is gonna be our first trip on our new Freedom Haulers we got yep. last week. So. Need this on my truck. You need Freedom Haulers? Well, those are. Those are trailer casings. Thank you. Really? Don't hate the player, hate the game. It's pudding going. How's it going? I can't get a diaper on. All those years of training. <laughs> what are you doing here? Oh, you brought <laughs> snacks for her. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's a good snack. So where we're headed, if you've really been watching us a long time, you'll know I own a 78 Valari station wagon. If you've been watching us just a little bit, you know we have a 64 Plymouth Savoy that these people gave us for free, right? Well, that's where we're headed back. And if you remember, we looked at a, what I believe is a 52 Ford F1 pickup truck there that uh, his dad bought brand new in 52, from what I was told. So we're going back to get that thing out of the barn, out of the shed, and bring it to our place and get it running and driving for them so they can do something with this truck again and not just have it park in the shed there. I'm also planning on going over and looking at that C10 that was there, that Bonanza edition, give you a little closer look at it. So a little backstory is when I bought the 78 Valari wagon, his dad was still alive and I bought it from him and he told me that day that he bought that truck brand new. Now, he he would have been up almost 100 years old now if he was still alive. But he's since passed on. His son, who uh, owns the truck now, he's in a little bit of bad health right now going through some medical issues. So we're gonna try to do our best to get this thing back going for them so he can see this truck run again. <laughs> what are you doing? Show them that, what in the world? We could just eat when we're done. No, please. No, no, no. There's a McDonald's up here. There's a McDonald's? There's a McDonald's. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, McDonald's right there. The yeah. Yeah. Golden arches the car. are following you. Yes. That's McDonald's. junk food. No, I want chicken tinnies. Ice cream also. Oh, Ask them if they got ice cream. And a 10 piece chicken nugget. How many people are we feeding? And is your ice cream machine working? No, I'm sorry, it's not. Okay, thank you. <laughs> 3312 is the first window Are you kidding me? Cheap. What does it come with? There's a Waffle House across the street. And, I said Waffle House. And you took us to McDonald's? I said Waffle House. I don't want to go to McDonald's. Uh, I think the record will state what you said. Yeah. I'm so glad you guys are out on summer break now. Uh, kind of up in the middle of nowhere up here. I'm excited to load this thing up. So they've owned this thing for 70 years. So it should be right here in the shed. Yeah. Got their old AD next to it too. That's where the Savoy was sitting. It's starting to already go back up.
Well, here it is. So I believe it's a 52 model, judging by the opening in the hood and the emblem down the side of the hood. That's about the only difference between a 51 and 52 from what I've seen is stuff with the hood. And I think, I think a 51 has silver grill as well. But man, look at all, there's probably not telling how much cool stuff in here. Got old oil cans and stuff. Looks like they've cleaned the bed of the truck out already. Three speed on the column. And I know it's an inline six, it should be. We'll open the hood. I think the 52 had the Ford across the front end too. And if this was a V8, originally it would have had a V8 badge on the hood, I think. Yeah, so this should be the 215 inline six. They had a 101 horsepower, six volt. You could have got, I think it's a 239 flathead V8 you could have got, and they had 106 donkeys under the hood. But it's funny how these old, a lot of these older engines around this time, the V8 and the 6 had about the same uh, horsepower. Anyway, this casing here is holding air. No way, this one's holding air too. Let me get the light out. We brought that spare just in case, but we may not have to use it. Got It's got the yeah. change you like, huh? You like the change, right? Yeah. You still working on them chicken nuggies? You want the rest? Oh man, I might, I I might get a nuggie. Well, that. Squirrel gave me three and I can't eat that extra three. Ralphie, can you believe that the casing is holding air? I can't. I love the old hubcaps on it. Let's see what's back here. Got some more oil. We may not even have to buy any oil. Man, we're not even gonna have to air them up, Ralphie. I wonder if the brakes are stuck. You know, usually the brakes are stuck on these things. Well, it might not be. It's that would sitting. be incredible. It's been sitting. Yeah, it's been sitting in the dryer. That definitely helps out a lot. I think I'll just put that in the bed. And we can use that when we change the Earl in it. Huh, Ralphie? That'd be cool. You know how long it's been sitting at all? Do you have any? You remember the last time it was moved? Austin pulled it out okay. and cleaned the inside out. So that's been several years ago. Other than that, that's that's all it's been done to. I didn't or know when probably, Papa parked it here. You know, probably a good fifteen years, maybe more. Daddy would probably remember. At least it's sitting inside. That's yeah. Good. What about it, Winnie? It'd be awesome if it'd roll out of here, Ralphie. Is it passenger door open? Passenger door? I don't know. Oh yeah. I don't think it's gonna roll out of here. It feels like the brakes were stuck on it. Okay, let me just put the winch to it. Do I need to drive? Uh, yeah. I can reach the pedals like perfectly. You can reach them perfectly? Yeah. Well, these look, these older trucks had much smaller cabs than the newer ones do. I just realized it has like 80s model mirrors on it. Yeah. I didn't see that before. It's kind of weird. Yeah. Go for it, Wawa. Oh, 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 oh. There's something. Something just fell back there. Your tires are rolling now, honey. You want to watch your language around the kids, honey? Shut up. The casings is rolling? Yeah. Not over it. We've talked about you using bad language around the kids. I can't help it. You have to wash my mouth out. Awesome. Oh, you like the little black small shifter ball, don't you? I guess it was just this toolbox falling off the back back here is what we heard. It sounded like terrible. All right, go for it, Wawa, again. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I wonder if we have any brakes. I'll just lay out in the clutch and start crawling. Go ahead. You can't see the casings off of this darn big fender. I love them big fenders. I can't see it all where I'm at. Go a little bit that way. That one? Yeah. I'm trying to hold. Why is that winch doing that? Oh, the winch is all balled up on one side. Let it out. I love the steps out on it. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, brakes didn't work and the clutch didn't work. Yeah, you're probably good. Did you hit your winch? Yeah, I think. At least it hit the solid part of the winch. That was weird. I let out the clutch and it didn't stop. I just kept going. Well, it might have like, popped out of gear. Piece of corn. I thought I saw like, something sticking out right here. It's a piece of corn. I bet you the ant rats have made off of it. Yeah. Oh, 
I bet you're right. Because there's poop. That car is all in here. You love it? Yeah. I can't believe we didn't have to air any of the tape and stuff. That's unfortunate that we hit our winch, but I don't know if there's issues with the clutch or what. I like that homemade rear bumper. They've they've modified that tailgate too. I guess the hinge broke off the bottom of the tailgate. Oh, yeah. And they've done some welding on it. Ralphie, what do we do with ant heels? Oh. That's my boy. You better kick that boot off quick. They're mad at you now. Here's your good helper. Why are you a good helper? You can't get calluses from washing dishes, son. I don't wash dishes. I've never washed dishes in my life. I'm going to tell you that today. Uh, yeah, I can keep my hand there all day, bro. Well, that's because your whole hand, all day. Is, probably, your hand is probably made of calluses. Yep. So I'm going to walk around this thing. Running board's got a little whiskey den in it there. I see a little bit up there in the edge of the cab. They patched up on the tailgate here because the bottom of it broke off. Aftermarket <laughs> bumper there. You can still see the torch marks in that. A little bit of a scratches there. The running board's got a little whiskey did in it too. But overall, man, what a solid truck. A little bit of rust at the bottom of this fender. But look at the cab corners. I mean, we're not out west. This is a Tennessee truck its whole life. And man, it's really super solid. Look at the bottom of that cab. Bottom of the doors. I mean, you're not going to find... A more solid truck in Tennessee for sure. It's like old gas. Yeah, I'm sure it has old gas in it. You the the gas tank is behind the so seat in the right truck. There? No, yeah, it's right behind the seat. Like your sit, wow. your back is up against it on these things. That's totally safe. Yeah, I don't see a problem with it. Oh. Look at that! Hey, look at that paneling, that son. Look at that! Wow, that. that's luxury. That's the gas tank. Yeah, that's the gas tank right there. You're right. Is there anything in there? You gonna look for that C10 again? Yeah. Look, a doom, look, doom buggies. Doom like buggy. three doom buggies out here. You gotta look at this. It's pretty cool. They should have Volkswagen engines. I kind of like this yellow one here. It's pretty cool. I kind of want to ask you about the doom buggy. Okay. Oh, here she is. So it's a long bed. Like we said before, whiskey dent. Got the key in it though. Bonanza? Bonanza 10. Well, I thought it had the hoop on it when we were here before. So this should be with the round headlights. I'm not perfect on my C10s. But that should be a 73 to 79. I'm not sure about the grill. Some of you guys can tell me the exact year on this truck. But I wonder what engine's in it. Uh, yeah, we'll pop the hood. Oh, okay. Well, the hood doesn't pop, buddy. Okay, so small block. Probably a... Let's Look see. how much room is right here. Yeah, it's a 350. Oh. So it's got a 350 in it. And it looks like a four barrel. So it's a four barrel 350. That's not There's bad. There's so much room, though. Yeah, you they have a like Well, someone came with big blocks. It. Says it's a 79 four barrel 350. So. Well, maybe one day they'll want us to get that one going for them, huh? Yeah. Look how pretty it is out here, guys. Oh, he spotted another one out here. So that's a Dodge one ton. So a 300 should be a one ton. And that should be, I don't know, it's later 60s, like 65 and up Dodge. Oh, it's got a big V8 in it too. Pretty cool. Kind of rough, but pretty cool. I don't know why the hood's open with it raining. I think that's a poly engine, I believe, is what that is. Yeah, big time hood, yeah. All right, let's get home. I'm starting to sweat. That thing is really neat. I, I think it's hilarious how you put like plastic 80s mirrors on it. Every car we've got from him, he always had some little thing he did to it. Uh, it was never completely stock. He always modified something. I, I like that. It blew that same heater hose off. And look, the temperature gauge is at 260. We just fixed this recently when we went to the junkyard. It blew off on us. And once again, I didn't catch it and it's already at 260. I don't know how this keeps happening. You're trying to kill my truck. So we had dropped Ralphie out to get the outside shot. And he said when we came by, it was blowing antifreeze out everywhere. I didn't even know it. 
I don't know what I'm gonna do right now. I might be able to loop it on the water pump. We got it attacked by dogs. So I got the one unit out of here. I'm trying to get the other one out, stuck in there. I mean, when I drove this truck every day, it never did this kind of what stuff. What are you trying to say? But you've been driving it for a couple months now and it keeps breaking down. Is it correct? Coincidence? I'm gonna need you to fix I it think correctly. Not. Man, this poor engine, this is the second time this has done this in a week. It's hit 260, but see, we're just gonna loop this. That's probably what I should have done in the first place, I guess. It is really hot. Did you call your family to come save us? I did. They're huh. coming on the way. Two things you can count on your family for. Things tied on the roof while moving, right. crazy wiring repairs, and getting water to Bang. you on the side of the road. And Crocs. Oh, you wearing your Crocs? Why did you have to say that? <laughs> I didn't even notice you're in your Crocs really? today. Looking good. Being a good goat. We should let her out clean up the roadway here. It's called trespassing, son. You're fine. You ready? Ow. Now, those four wheel drive or the two wheel drive models? Uh, helps arrived. Nephews are here. Got your watch. Does your inside handle not work? No, it's broke. It gone. <laughs> you look homeless. Ah. I ain't even got socks on. What you talking about? <laughs> Would you bring me a burger? I know I'd be on the tube. That'd be a little bit more appropriate. Yeah, you should have dressed up. I think this is the first time I put water in the engine with a pitcher. <laughs> One gallon. Yeah, we're going to have to pack and freeze with this thing. Thank you. Good news. I appreciate the help. Thank you. What would you do without the nephews? They just happen to live like one street over from here. We're gonna have to start carrying a jug of water or something with us. Hopefully that'll get us home. It never really did top totally off. It's at like 2.15 right now. And there's some more of our antifreeze where I turned around to pick Ralphie back up. That thing got a Hemi in it? We're about 2.20. Yes, we're gonna have to pull over and get some more water or antifreeze or something up here. Yeah, we're gonna have to hit the Dollar General up here. We're about 2.30 now. There's one every seven miles in Tennessee. That's the word on the street. Oh, Dollar General, you saved me. I've never been so happy to see a dollar jingle. <laughs> yeah, we're at 240. We gotta do this. You know, I met your mother at a dollar jingle. <laughs> hey, this is cheaper than antifreeze. We don't need that. Yeah, we do. I'm leaving you. This is how you know I love my wife. She loves these things. So there you go. Thank you. What it's this you? love. What happened to your Here's clock? Here's this love. Back up, back up, back up, back up. How much is a dope dollar for it, Al? This is the fifth gallon we put in it. How much is a gallon of water? Dollar fifty. Oh, like to have killed me. Had to empty my whole envelope on there. Maybe we'll be good now. We put like, what was that, six gallons in it? us out on other platforms at sleeper dude 88 this make babies happy mm -hmm. putting you can't no you can't have ketchup it's not for goats i don't know if it was the water or the snow biz but it's holding at 210 now one of the two cooled it off yeah. it spilled the snow biz on me there's like snow biz in my butt crack <laughs> I still smell antifreeze. You smell it? Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen anything more beautiful than this right here? Yeah, I've seen a fair mold before. <laughs> 30 seconds and you pull up wanting my truck. <laughs> they bought it brand new. Real? Neighbor. Hey. I keep talking about him on here, but he's actually on video now. But... I like that. This thing's in our way. We're going to have to back it up. Get the trailer in here. Oh, oh, Gosh, that could have turned out badly. Think you can drive the Falcon out of here to make some room? Yes, sir. We'll put it in mom's garage. I'm a professional NASCAR driver. Oh, you are? Yep. Dirt track.
You gonna drive it? I guess. Roll your window down. I'm so happy. Why? The, the pedals are like right at my feet. Like I can touch, I can pull out back against this thing and touch them. I can touch these pedals with ease. Do I need to push the clutch in? Should be out of gear. Pull it down. Here you go. That's out of gear. I can't believe it rolls that good. I know, thank the Lord. It rolls, the casings are aired up. Now if it only had brakes and gears. I don't know what it is. Scooter is scared to death to come inside the shop. He'll set, he'll come up here, but he won't come, come in. On, Let's go ahead and walk around this thing and see exactly what we got. If anything's missing, if anything's froze up. What is this? We got a spring hanging down. I don't know what it's doing, but yeah. is our linkage? Yeah, our linkage is free, so that's a good deal. Our bowl is empty. I love this clear fuel bowl. If you didn't see it in the last video, it has a clear bowl, and I've never worked on one with a clear bowl before, but that's gonna really help out. The original buyer of this when it was new, his great-grandson's coming to work on it with us today. And I'll ask him some of the details, but it looks like somebody's put a coil on it at some point and plugs. Here we go. Let's see about our sediment filter. It looks like it's dry as well, which you wouldn't surprise me if the fuel pump is uh, done for. They got something in here to keep this from rubbing. I don't know what. <laughs> every car, every car we've seen of his is like that. Got some uh, issues here with some fabric wrapped wiring that doesn't look too good. Are these factory horns? They sure look factory, but man, they're big. We've got to find out what those sound like, huh? Yeah. For sure, goldfish boy. So for some reason, the mechanical choke is just hanging out here over the fender. It's got the external mount mod there. I'm not used to these door handles. They're kind of funny how they turn. How many miles? 59,000. You got to love the old hand-painted gauges. They're just so neat. Is this the radio? It looks like it's falling apart. Whatever is the deal there with the radio. Maybe the speaker went here. Well, here's our lighter. <laughs> Back before uh, people started calling these charging ports. Luckily, we have the key, so that is gonna help out for sure. We got a hammer, a couple tools where somebody was piddling with this thing at some point. Oh, man, there's all kinds of tools in here. They'll be glad to know where those were. Look at that huge heater box, huh? Is the glove box open? Uh -oh. What do we got in there? Cups. What's this? We should use those cups. You got some cups? What's in there? There's a pencil. Uh, Light bulb. Oh, cool. It's got the VIN tag in the glove box there. Let's find the seat. Oh, we got a 5 8 wrench here. There's a bunch of tools in this thing. Oh, that's, that's to air your casings up there. That's a casing checker. A good one, too. I love this tool tray here that is so cool is that factory sure that's not factory I right i would think he probably put that he on probably there. put that, that on like right? he would do. for sure i need something like that on my tractor you do need a tool tray like that on your tractor but it's the old sinclair oh yeah uh oil service whatever man there is no sinclair stations around here anymore there that's may have been cool. back in the day but so we have a distributor cap that's got dirt daubers in it I've got some matches for the bank. <laughs> There's some matches in here, bro. You like playing with matches, don't you? Some parts there. I don't know. What does that say? Wheel cylinder kit. So at some point, somebody was trying to fix the brakes on this thing. Because there's a seal as well. Here you go. Go play with matches. Magic Chef. That's where he worked, right? He worked at Magic Chef, so there's a notebook with nothing in it. Not working? Push harder and faster. Nothing? Your finger that close to it, if it does light, <laughs> you're going to light your fingers up. So we don't want to show all his personal details here, but here's a last registration, 1998. So that's 24 years, it looks like since this thing was last registered. Oh, cool. Look at this, Ralphie. It's a Ford truck operator's manual for the F-Series truck. Look, look at all the engines on the front of it. Oh, yeah. And then, so this one has 
should have the 215. They had all the way up to a 317, I guess. Maybe not in this small of a truck, but 1952 copyright. Man, that's really neat. So that's the original owner's manual for this thing, I guess. Wow, how cool is it that that's still in there? Did it lie? You playing with matches just hasn't ever worked out for you yet, has it? No. All the matches we find are old. Yeah. That's cardboard, I think. Yeah. So we got some old bolts and a rotor button. Vent window handle broke off at some point. They threw it in here. Armrest pad. Some sandpaper. What's doing this? A points file. Hey, we got a points file, guys. What is that? I don't know what that is. Tell me what that is. Awesome that we found a points file. That's going to work out for us. Don't know. <laughs> well, we better check the oil before we try to do anything to this thing. Well, it looks like it's spot on. A little bit dark, but not too bad. Man, they just don't make dipsticks like they used to. Yeah, it's a wool breather. All the bugs and junk get in there and die. So yeah, you pull the chain up. Pull that bedside blowout when he did that. So then you hook the chain back, and that that's what holds the tailgate where it's supposed to be. Well, this should have a factory wooden floor. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Wow, look at that. That That's is really awesome. cool. I, I just figured it was gone, but it's still in there. Wow. So me and Ralph are gonna go ahead and pull the plugs out of this thing and give it a little Marvel Mystery oil. I don't expect this engine to be locked up. I would like to put some lubrication down in there just in case before we try to turn it over. Oh. You okay? Yeah. Can you get that, that one? Yeah. Is it too tight? I can get it out. Definitely has not been in there forever. So somebody definitely has tried to run it with new plugs and then gave up on it, looks like. You want me to clean it? Yeah, we'll clean them. This one right here looks almost new. The ring doesn't even have any soot on it, hardly. This thing should be positive ground, I believe, since it's six volt. So the wire going to the point should be the positive side of the coil. So this is appears to be wired up backwards. All right, we're gonna get a little taste of marble here. This is to help loosen things up. 24 years is quite a long time to be off the road. I'm gonna go ahead and check our points while our plugs are off here. That cap looks pretty good. Looks like at some point it had been replaced. It doesn't have a ton of miles on it. Probably should stand on that rotor a little bit. The points are definitely not contacting evenly like they're supposed to. They look like they're bent. Probably some uh, aftermarket units, I guess. I've been bending on these. I got them straightened out a lot better. I love that it had a points file in the glove box. This one looks like terrible. It's like super black. That's what you do. Is that the clean it up face? That's a terrible thing. Let's see if I can turn it over with the. Oh, yeah. It's free. They're well, slipping the belt. It was free. I'm gonna try to get up on the lobe on the distributor here for the points. At least this thing is free, which I kind of figured with it being stored inside that it would be free like this, but you never know. They've surprised me before. Well, there's usually a reason that it gets parked. Right. I'm just wondering, why can't it be four trucks instead of Fairmont's? <laughs> <laughs> you married the wrong man. Clean them up. Oh, good job. You can start sticking them back in there. Look how cool that is. A cab over engine truck. Oh, man. Look, Ralphie. How cool would that be? Yeah. So it says the point gap should be 24 to 26 thousandths on a six cylinder and 14 to 16 on an eight cylinder. I wonder why they were different. Let me know in the comments. At least it's got some big old fenders for you to lay on, huh? Yeah, I'm a model. Oh, jeez. They're slipping on. Yeah, we're right there at the spec. We may be barely tight, but I think we'll be fine. You want me to do them? 
Yeah. Take these screws out. Take that ball off. Now it's glass, so be careful with it. Okay, I think we got everything done we need to do with the ignition, hopefully. So I'm just gonna drop the cap back on here, put all our plug wires back on. You got mom working? Yeah, because I got the two shot ones off. And yeah. Does it just come off now? I don't know. I just didn't want it to fall off. Mess it up. Hopefully our gaskets. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I think it saved it. Our float's not completely stuck. That's good. This looks like the exact same carburetor that was on the Falcon. Man, how cool is that? Old glass float bowl. You can definitely see your trash in there. Really know when it's clean. Definitely all brown in there. We don't have a carburetor to it. I actually haven't bought any parts of this thing yet. Kind of wanted to see where the health of this engine was first. That's free. I'm gonna pull the, the main jet out of this thing and spray through it. You know, our most important thing out there is the main jet. I tried to pull that float out, but I think you got to take this whole assembly out to get the float out. Rocky, she feeding you animal crackers again. Our jet here is pretty dirty. Did that go through? Yeah, yeah it did. So that's going all the way through. It's not been a good helper today. But she's gonna help, Rocky. You're supposed to inspect this thing. I wish this float was out of my way. That pin does not seem to want to come out of the float. Hopefully, it won't have to go way deep into this carburetor because probably gonna need a carburetor kit if I do that. Ralphie did a good job cleaning that bowl up. It's easy to tell when it's clean, huh? I'm so scared I'm gonna drop it and break it. I'm not used to worrying about that with a carburetor. Because you probably can't get another one, right? I don't know if we can still make these or not. I have no idea. Also worried about over tightening it. I'm gonna count the turns on the idle mixture screw. Two and a half. Three. Three and a half. Three and three quarter. Wow, that seems like a lot. Those can with the beans, onions, and the taters, wouldn't they? Just give them a lot, yeah. How do you open the door? What? That's how you put brake fluid in it. Down there. Oh, yeah? Do we need to put brake fluid in it? Yeah, go ahead. So this is saying it should be out one turn and then adjust it from there to where it runs good. But, yeah, usually three and three quarters is a lot. Yeah, I can't get that one So I've got it all the way in. I'm going to give it two turns. That seems more appropriate. Well, Ralphie mentioned we need to go ahead and check the brake fluid. Luckily, there was enough tools in the truck to not have to even get my own. I don't know why they put the master cylinders down here. It's just like such an inconvenient place to do this. I just noticed they've made a new hinge for the throttle pedal. That's great. So somebody has took the outlet fitting out of the fuel pump and they have ran a hose to it here, but this is going uphill, so I don't think it would get fuel that way unless we change this fitting around. I'm gonna take the sediment filter off the top of this fuel pump. Oh yeah, it's really nasty in there. Rust and dirt in the bottom of that. Yeah, it's got a lot of dirt in the bottom of that. Somebody's made a homemade cork gasket for this. Funny how that thing sits upside down from most of the sediment filters. What is it? Right there, Rocky. I'm gonna take this factory line loose, the supply line, and run a new one. Maybe this pump will start working. Mm -hmm. How you doing, man? Very good, how are you? Good. I'm Josh. I'm Austin. Austin. I think I met you when you were little. So we got Austin here now. He, his great grandpa bought this truck brand new, right? In 52 uh, is what I've been told. I think so. Okay. That's what I was told by him. So this thing uh, has been the family his whole life for sure. Yeah. So it's been the family a long time. So he's going to help us work on this thing today. 
along with Rocky's help here. I don't know what Rocky's getting out of the bag to help us. What do you got now? Oh, he's got the screwdriver. So I'm gonna hook up this gas can that we used on the 59 Rambler and just gravity feed this thing. He's saying that again, the fuel pump's bad in it, so we're gonna have to probably get a fuel pump for it. Hopefully this will work. Oh, it's leaking. Mm -hmm. You see the bowl filling up? There it goes. See, that was kind of, yeah, that's still kind of loose right there. I'm gonna have to tighten that up. That's neat to be able to watch it though. The brass one felt like it was stripped out going into the carburetor. We got this thing back off the charger now. Oh, no sparks. Ralphie, did you want to try the horn like you were saying? Uh, Can I have the horn? Nothing. <laughs> no luck out of the horn. Too bad. We got a problem. It's, it's flooding it. That needle and seat's not stopping it. I wonder if it just needs a needle and seat actually in place. Yeah, I can't tap on that glass. That's for sure, right? Won't really be in a world of hurt. Oh, well, it's not dripping anymore. Well, that is definitely over full because that thing should be sitting somewhere down in here. It's all the way to the top. Man, it started right up, didn't it? Man, you, you can't it? beat the little inline sixes for reliability, for sure. Well, let me try it again because it, it's still got fuel in the bowl. Let me try it again here. It's not liking that. You ain't getting fuel to the carburetor, I don't think. The bowl's full, but it's not getting the fuel from the carburetor doesn't seem like because spilled over into there and that's probably what it was running off of is just what had spilled over you gonna help or not rocky austin thinks we can it'll run better if we give it some choke so we're gonna try it like that Yeah, it did go down in the bowl closer to where it ought to be. Man, it's really stiff, isn't it? Let's try it again without to see what it does. Just run for a second and it dies. There's gotta be something up inside of that thing. It's probably not gravity feed. Well, yeah, we've got it kinked off right now, but it's still got fuel in the bowl. So if it's got fuel in the bowl, it should run until it until it gets below the jet, which is at the bottom. It's got fuel on the main jet, so it should be running off what's in there. There's something definitely up inside that carburetor. Is that stopped up or something? I think so. Yeah. I think so. We're gonna have to go a little bit deeper into the carburetor. Maybe it's because you didn't clean it. Yeah, that was in the glove box. We we were looking through it because it was showing like the point settings and everything it was in the glove box i didn't know that was in there i couldn't believe it is yeah. that cool the yeah, original owner's manual stuff but we're gonna have to take this car off looks like and get a little deeper into it that fitting right there is not i'm surprised it's not pouring out of there it sounds like it's running good when it first starts up and then it just completely runs out of fuel it seems like we, we can clearly see it's got fuel in it it's got the old hard line uh vacuum advance on the distributor it's a compression fitting these are just 9 16 down here 
to hold the carb down. These little one barrels are so simple, good to take off. Well, the gas is definitely not stuck down there at all. Look at that, look at that stuff in the bottom. Even after we cleaned it out, you can still see all that junk floating around in there. I'll move it. See that there in the bottom? Yeah. It looks like when I'm eating a sandwich and I drink my drink, that's what the bottom of the That's cup looks disgusting. Like. What? It's it's called going green, recycling. <laughs> Your threads don't feel right on that. Oh yeah, look. All the threads are oh, screwed yeah. up in there body of the carburetor is stripped out where this fitting goes in that's not good it pulled the threads out of that carburetor i'm about over you dumping out my bolts honey. Excuse me? and making me put them back up <laughs> it's so cool to see it but you can see how dirty it is already just from that even after we sprayed it out in there it's crazy can you pull it out from the top i feel like that would be faster then here you're a gentleman and a scholar aren't you Good idea. Anyway, it's got a gasket there, got one there, and it's got a metering block in there that has a gasket behind it, and then your bowl and your base plate. But the base plate looks like it was good still. I believe, if I remember right, this is very similar to the Falcon's carburetor. A, a screw in here that holds the kneel and seat <coughs> assembly in. <coughs> Bless you, Rappy, too, just like me. I've done three before. What? You've done three? Yeah. Is that a record? I think it was this or last week. Really? You keep up with them? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> oh man, look at the, oh, we still got a bunch of fuel in there, but a big chunk behind all that. So this is what was holding that pin in there is that, and you can pull this out, pull the needle out of there. And this thing is not sealing up inside there. I gotta think we got some issues inside here. This looks almost identical to the Falcon's carburetor. What do you want? I don't have any more animal crackers. Oh yeah, he'll, he'll let you do that all day. And look how much junk is on it though. We tried to take the easy way out and it didn't work this time. That came off clean. The junk in the bottom of that, right there. Big chunks of stuff. Probably passages like this right here blocked up is what our issue is. Here's your accelerator pump diaphragm. What's he here? He's just sitting over the floor like he's... You ready to start cleaning? Yeah. You made a mistake. Oh, so... He left the door open? Is he yep. gonna get yep. in it? Yeah, he's getting in it. <laughs> no, Rocky, that one's got good interior. Oh my God, every time he was content laying down until he seen that door open. He just shot out like a yeah, rocket. Yeah, he, he knew he could get in that comfy seat. Yes, he's full rotten. <laughs> Are you having trouble with your gloves, sir? Yes, indeed. Why? I don't know. Rocky's helping. Okay. Don't you better not. He'll eat that thing off your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Look. Look. <laughs> he's terrible. <laughs> Somehow we were unable to get gloves on, so he's going to use my big boy gloves now. Oh, uh, Rocky. Come on. No, no more tape. No, not the receipts either. Why do you like stuff like this? Oh yeah. Don't use all our carb cleaner, bro. This stuff ain't free. You do remember that the outside doesn't matter, right? Don't care. Well, this is the important part right here. In here. Well, you gotta smell my brush? Yeah. Crunchy already, I don't, I don't know. Well, look, that's look probably where that. it was leaking. Oh. Yeah, spray yourself in the face. Bunch of junk in there. Yeah. So that's one of the passages there. Yeah, that may have been blocked up. I'm not sure. It's not coming out this side. Where's that? It's not coming out the yeah. top there. Yeah, that's your tire pump spider right there. So that's freed up there. So this should be the high and low speed air bleeds right here that go into the metering block. Yeah. yeah. So now we have that. If you don't, if you're not getting a signal through your air bleeds. It ain't gonna run around. I think we've got all those passages flowing now. Definitely appears like we do. Kinda worried about this accelerator pump diaphragm, which doubles as your metering block gasket, but we might just stick it together and see how it goes. Let me try to clear this other passage out. It's still not, it's not coming through this end. 
I think we're getting a tiny bit, but I'm still not sure that passage is not supposed to flow more than that. We're gonna go ahead and bolt this back in there. Our diaphragm is not ripped, so I'm hoping that this thing will work. If not, we're gonna have to explore different avenues. Maybe this will work, I don't know. Austin here is gonna make us a new gasket for the bowl since this was in such bad shape. You gonna make his gasket? Yeah. You'll have to do it because I keep on tearing it. I'm gonna guess at this inside here. That ought to work right there, I think. Uh, seems like it's working now. Maybe it just had a piece of trash in it or something. It's a little close. You're a little close with the camera. It's so strange the way that attaches there. So this is a 20 thread pitch. I think it's a half inch 20 according to this size. So we're gonna try to clean that threads out like carbon. Right, it's gonna bottom out before it actually does a whole lot of good. And it's bottoming out into the threads for this thing, which are right behind it. So I don't know, it did a little bit of work there, but I don't know if that's enough. I'm gonna put some of this Permatex Aviation Forma Gasket Sealer we have here and see if that will seal anything up. <laughs> it feels like it's gonna strip out any second. It's so wobbly in there. The perfect. Yeah, that's it. Good. All right, we got our new homemade gasket in here. Hopefully, it will seal up. These little brackets are so funny. There it is. <laughs> barely, barely caught thread right there. That's the most important one, the bottom one. There you go. Just noticed the accelerator pump rod is unhooked completely, so. I didn't look at that before, but we may have never been getting any accelerator pump. Yeah, so with that in there, now it, yeah, I can hear it, hear it. Now pump gas in there and start. Yeah, all right, let's go bolt this thing on and see what happens. I'll go ahead and put some fuel in the bowl and see if it leaks or not. It looks like it's not leaking. So now we'll just hook our fuel line up and see if that fixed anything or if we're going to have to get another carburetor. I'm worried about that fitting leaking. Yeah, don't let me hold to if you don't want it to move. Mm -mm. I don't be responsible. Maybe our needle and seat's working now. It's not doing like it was, that's no, for sure. No, it's not doing what it was, was it? We gotta get back to work. What are you doing? Looking at four rangers. On Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. Look at this. You ain't even got the money. <laughs> Maybe. All right, you're gonna try to start it for us. Just turn the engine on off here, and that's your starter button. Wait until I get out here. I'm sure it's not in gear. It's not in gear. All right, go for it. I'm sure it's not flowing, is it? Come on. Come on. Try it again. Did you do it? Did it stop? Yeah. Try it again. Stopped on its own? Yep. Should be good. Uh, try it again, Ralphie. anything from that. Is our needle on the seat messed up? We can see that our float is down. It should be gravity feeding from that tank over there. Austin, do you want to pick it up again and see if it does it? Oh, there you go. I can see. Okay, it's starting to feed now. All right, Ralphie, why don't you try it again? Going on. All right, go for it. Go. <laughs> Keys on? Yeah. All right, go for it again. Man, it's, um, did it stop on its own? No, I stopped it. 
Ain't turn up fast enough. Okay, let's put 12 volts. We're gonna switch to a 12 volt battery because this thing is turning really slow. We're all about doubling the voltage around here. Go, Ralphie. Okay. Right. Right. Keep on. <laughs>
Man. It's true sitting there idle and smooth, isn't it? Crazy how much difference they run. Like you have a little bitty orifice or something in the carburetor that's got a blockage and it is gonna not run right at all. We still got issues with uh, fuel leaking right here. We didn't want to run it too long because we're dripping gas on our exhaust. So we still have problems with the threads inside that uh, carburetor body. So we're probably gonna have to do something different with this carburetor, even though it is running way better now. Yeah, way better. See, look how, how wiggly that fitting is in there still. Yeah, it's just shot. It didn't really smoke that bad and the motor wasn't really making any bad, terrible noises. Yeah. Looks like, is that a leak there? Maybe it just dripped down from the top. Yeah. Oh, okay, well maybe we're good there too. Yeah, these old radios are solid compared to newer ones. Man, that did really good. Like, I was surprised at how well it ran. I wouldn't expect it to run idle that good after that. What? 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 You gonna touch it? Shh. <laughs> Austin wants to hear the uh, Savoy run because it grew up on the property he grew up on. <laughs> Well, I think that's where we're going to end this one off because, <gasps> oh, did you have it pointed down? Yes, it did. It happens every time. You got to point them up. You got to have like the air up. But just because of our fuel leak issues with this thing, needing a new carburetor main body and needing to get brakes on this thing, I'd hate to wreck something like this. Most of what we work on is not as nice as this. I would hate to get this thing out with no brakes and wreck it or something. It was really cool though to work on it with his great grandson, you know, to be able to work on it with him was really cool. I really enjoyed that. But we will definitely have future videos of this truck. We're gonna check about getting some casings for it maybe, getting the brakes working, uh, doing more with the fuel system, probably gonna take the tank out and clean it and get a fuel pump for it as well. Cause you want some? You totally drink all the all RC Cola without me? Well, there's like that much left and I was- Oh RC. man. I hurt my feelings. <laughs> no, we gotta let Scooter have some. Oh man, he's bit me. Oh my gosh, Scooter. I wish Scooter would get more of the videos. He's such a good dog, but he's scared of the shop. You can check out our second channel at Sleeper Dude 2. You can check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok at Sleeper Dude 88. There you go. So check those out. You can check out our merchandise below. How cool is this? A one owner, 52. Ford F1 pickup truck. Where else are you gonna find one? I wish we could buy it, but it's not for sale. So we're just glad to get it back going for the family. You know, we got it running way better than we did when it first started up there, but it kicked right over and ran. Austin was telling us off camera that he had actually, he was the one that put the plugs and cool on it, trying to get it running. He had poured some gas down the carburetor and got it to fire off at some point a few years ago, but he never got in the carburetor fixing all that junk. So. I'm glad we could get that done for them. Check out our other videos. We got Thunderbirds and Falcons and Fairmonts, uh, the Savoy, which came from the same family, the two Dodge Darts, the Chevy Malibu. We got all kinds of projects. The RV project. Yeah, so check out our channel. We got all kinds of other videos. As always, we really appreciate you guys watching. Eat your Vainas, drink your RC Colas, and pour one out for your homies. You know the deal. I know my wife would definitely love to be buying this truck. But, yeah, she would. Uh, yeah, can't buy this one, unfortunately. Maybe you can find but another one. At least it's staying in their family. There isn't any more, honey. There's not any more. There, you know what? You know what to do. She already had it going. All right, we're gonna split these because they're both gonna want it for sure. Right, you gotta sit. Can you shake? Yes, you can. That's for Scooty. Oh man, he is so fast. He knows Ellie's gonna get it if he doesn't get it right then. I'm sorry, Vanya, but he drank all the RC Cola. He didn't even give me any RC Cola. All right, tell him bye, Rocky. Tell him see you later. I'm sorry you didn't get Vanya's. Scooter was out there. He had them. Sorry, buddy. Look at all the babies out here. Look, that one's nursing over there. Look, they all look like Rocky. Coincidence? I think not. There we go. She is getting bigger and bigger. Isn't she, Rocky? Listen to that. Rub that belly. She just wants a belly rub. That's all she wants. 
She's just a big baby. You don't think I'll kiss that pig, you're wrong. Kiss the pig, kiss the pig, kiss the pig. You didn't touch her. I saw no contact at all. You did not kiss that pig. You did not kiss her. <laughs> you kissed the pig. <laughs> I, 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 I kiss nose or something. How'd that feel? Awesome. <laughs> it's more like my nose mm -hmm. touches. She's a looker. <laughs> All the mechanical knowledge he holds in there.